What's up guys? Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get your summer body. Summer is right around the corner. It's one, two months away. It's getting warm here. I can feel it coming. I'm sure you can too. And that is why I need to make this video because so many of us have goals for the summer, whether it's we want to have better abs, just lose some body fat or bigger arms or a nicer butt. Everybody wants to look better with their shirt off or in a bikini and wants a better summer body. I think everybody has a goal for that. So today I'm going to be explaining how you can get this summer body in the easiest and most simplistic way possible. First up, let's talk about diet. If you want to lose weight, you need a caloric deficit, which means you burn more calories than you eat. If you want to gain weight, gain muscle, you need to eat in a caloric surplus, which means you burn less calories than you eat. I'll have a video linked up here um, detailing how to lose weight and then all about the caloric deficit up here. In addition to caloric deficit or surplus, depending on your goal, you also need to eat high protein. This is important for building muscle and maintaining muscle. I always say shoot for one gram of protein per pound of body weight every single day. Um, to make sure you hit your protein goals consistently. And you need protein because if you don't have enough, your body will burn both muscle and fat and you'll look kind of just like weak and like meh. Whereas if you have high protein, you retain the muscle, lose the fat, you'll look much more toned and lean. Um, and also to gain muscle, it's an absolute must to have protein. Now you can track your calories and your macros, but I think we'd all agree it's not ideal. I don't want to do that in the summer. I'm sure you don't want to either. So we don't have to. You don't have to track to lose weight, to lose body fat, I promise. There's easy ways to do it, so let's get into them. First way to do it, eat more whole foods. So that means fruits, veggies, meats, eggs, foods that don't have ingredients because they are the ingredient. Eat more of those. Um, if you need ideas, look them up or DM me, but eat more whole foods and eat the whole foods first before you have ice cream or other treats. That way you eat less of those, more of the whole foods, more full, and hit your protein and micronutrients too, just like overall healthy. Also, avoid drinking your calories. So that means avoid drinking pop, 220 calories, stuff like that in there, or milkshakes all the time, or too much alcohol. Um, drink more water, you need it. Avoid drinking your calories because that's just gonna make you feel more hungry in the day and it might help you go over your calorie goal when you don't want to. So avoid drinking your calories, eat more whole foods. And overall, just make healthier decisions. You know what's healthy, you know what's not. You know what you should eat, what you should not eat. Um, just make healthier decisions. It's not easy, otherwise everybody would be in really great shape. So it's gonna take some sacrifice. Just be consistent, make healthier choices. You can still have your treats, just um, be mostly healthy in your decisions. Now let's talk about training. The best way to build muscle or lose body fat, both of those, is by resistance training. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Check out this video up here. I promise you'll benefit from watching it. Um, I talk about all about how resistance training is arguably the best form of exercise there is. Now, resistance training is lifting weights or doing band exercises or cable exercises or even body weight exercises. That is resistance training. So that's what I do, all my content, stuff on Instagram, TikTok, that's what I do. And this can be done just a few times a week. You don't have to do it as many times as me. You can do it two or three times a week and be just fine. It will help you a lot still, I promise. Now I say resistance training is the best and I recommend it for you guys to get your summer bodies because one, it boosts your metabolism. So that means by because of resistance training, you burn more calories when you're doing nothing than you do if you're doing cardio or not resistance training. So because I resistance train, Right now, me just sitting here, I'm burning more calories daily than someone who only does cardio. Also, resistance training is how you can sculpt your body. So guys, if you want bigger arms, you can make your arms bigger. You want a bigger chest, you can get your chest bigger. Girls, you want a bigger butt, no problem. You can do it with resistance training because you can sculpt your body and lean out your body. So increase metabolism, sculpting your body, what more could you want? It's literally perfect. Now let's talk about cardio. Do you need to do extra cardio to lose weight? No, popular media makes it seem like you need to work so hard to lose weight and get fit or need to run all the time or do so much cardio and it's simply not true. Listen to me here. Cardio trains your body to be more efficient with calories, meaning it burns less calories. Resistance training trains your body to burn more calories. So cardio, which is arguably much harder than resistance training, burns less calories and is harder 
and resistance training, it's easier and burns way more calories even when you're doing nothing. So it's a no-brainer resistance training is more necessary. I always say just be active, try to get 10,000 steps a day. That's what I do. I just try to get 10,000 steps a day and be active in my lifestyle. I run very rarely. Now if you like running, go for it. If you really enjoy running, by all means, please do it. Because if it's something you like, it's something you consistently do and you'll get benefit from it. <clears throat> Everybody needs a little cardio in their life because it's necessary um, for your overall health and cardiovascular system, but you just remember you don't need it for fat loss. I personally run like once a week maybe. Now for your training guys, I personally sell programs on my website, link down below, grantjohnsonfitness.com, in the description you can find it, or in my Instagram bio. I make custom programs for anybody and I have workouts that I'm doing right now, um, and personal coaching if you want that. If you really want results, I can guide you right to them. So check that out, uh, website link down below. Um, so in conclusion. Do the easy choice guys, resistance training, which is lifting weights, cable exercises, band exercises, or body weight. Do that. If you're tracking your calories, if you're going to do that, check out the video I made about how to figure out your maintenance calories, or go check out a um, maintenance calorie calculator on the internet so you get a basis for how many calories you should be consuming. Um, if you're going for a surplus, go uh, like 200 to 500 calorie surplus. Um, if you're going for a deficit, 200 to 500 calorie deficit. Also, check out the video I made about weight loss. I had it up in the beginning, but check it out again if you want to lose weight. It's a good, another helpful video. Be up here again. If you're not considering tracking calories, I still think it's not a bad idea to track loosely. So every now and then, just to see how many calories are actually in your food and to get an idea of how many calories you're actually eating because I surprised myself, realized I was eating more calories than I thought I was or less than I thought I was, and it'll probably be the same for you. So I recommend doing it loosely every now and then just to figure out a rough idea of how many calories you're consuming normally. About troublesome fat burn. You can't choose where your body burns fat. It's that simple. Although I would love to get rid of this little pooch right here, everybody doesn't want that little lower belly pooch or your love handles, you can't choose where your body burns fat. It's going to do it wherever it chooses. You don't have control. The only thing you can do is consistently uh, lose weight. <laughs> You're good. Will just walked in. I'll finish my sentence. Only thing you can do is just consistently be in a caloric deficit and burn fat and then as you do that your body will get all over. Um, you just can't choose where your body burns fat. Also, building muscle takes away the flabby or fatty look from someone. So if you build muscle, it'll just help you look more lean and full or toned per se. And girls, if you're wondering, you're not going to get bulky. You simply do not have the testosterone to build that much muscle. I promise you, please trust me. Overall, it's simple if you're dedicated. If you really want it, make it a need. I say this all the time. If you really want to see the progress and results, make it a need. Not a want or a choice, make it a need. I have to go to the gym. I have to eat healthy. Make it a need to be consistent to see results. Consistency is key. So this means no skipping just because you're tired or because you're not in the mood. If you really want results, you have to be consistent and push through sometimes. None of us are motivated all the time. Sure, motivation is great. Use it while you have it, but nobody is motivated all the time. The people who really want it and really want the results, they work out when they don't want to. It's called dedication. You need to be dedicated and consistent to see results. All right, well that is everything, guys. If you want my help, I would be more than happy to help you. Check out my website, grantjohnsonfitness.com. I can personally coach you and guide you all along the way, or you can just buy a workout program from me. I'm here to help. Check out that website, DM me on Instagram, follow my Instagram, my TikTok link down below too. Uh, but just good luck. I wish you the best. Hope we all can get fit for the summer. I'm doing it right now, so follow along, subscribe for that, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.